Polaroid. Everyone knows what they are, and if you've been living under a rock, it's a square or rectangle image, depending on which brand you have, that pops out the front of a camera. It's another form of film photography that I just can't help myself but get involved in. I have so many, it's like I'm collecting Pokemon cards. I picked up my Polaroid camera from eBay. Oh my god, when did I do that? I've got the date, wow. 2015, this one is. Wow. That's a long time ago, so that's seven years ago. It's the Polaroid Supercolor 635 or 635CL. I just picked it up because it, it looked cool. I think I picked it up for about £30, so they're going for relatively cheap. So if you're looking to buy one, head over to eBay. And since I have so many, I thought it might be fun just to go through them. I need to digitalise them anyway, so two birds, one stone, eh? That didn't take as long as I thought it was going to, and because we went through them rather quickly, let's, let's just go through them briefly. As you already know, as I've already shown, the first Polaroid I took was of my cat Wilson. He was a kitten at the time. Uh, unfortunately, he is no longer with us. Uh, he got ran over by a car. May he rest in peace. Um, yeah, moving on. But continuing on the, uh, the theme of my cat, I did take one in 2021 of my, my new cat, Lily. I've tried to keep my Polaroids in like a, a sectioned piece because I get them in these sleeves because it helps protect them, I guess. Um, I'd say this is the cat one, but then if you go down here, it's, it's my sister in 2016. She did the lip, the lip thing, you know where you suck on a cup, and it makes your lips huge. She did that and I took a picture of it. And there's another one of me, 2020, I don't know why I'm holding it up, I'll just put them on the screen here. Mad little one, actually, I've, I've put it in reverse, so on this side it's 2016 Becca, and on that side it's 2021 Becca. Pretty cool, I think. The next batch or series of photos I took was actually on black and white or sepia colour film. It looks quite orangey, sepia. But I think I bought it as black and white film. But yeah, I just wanted to get pictures of all my friends from uni. And then I got them all to sign it as well. Like, sign their name, which was quite cute. Originally, I'd I would obviously bought the Polaroid just for fun, because it, it is fun. It's just capturing memories as you go along. As you can see in these ones here, these are the, the um, my friend's business. He got a unit. I just snapped a few pictures of us in there working away doing the bits, doing the bobs. But as of last year, I actually used it in a commercial client-based thing. So Remedy Clothing, I shot like BTS and some film pictures, obviously, uh, which brought us to the my first like uh, paid shoot uh, where I was able to use the Polaroid as well, which I thought was really cool. Um, some cool pickies here actually, some nice like BTS sort of shots as well. Yeah, that was a really fun shoot. Yeah, that was a good time. That was a very good time. Big up Remedy Clothing. James, if you're watching, big up you lad. Because, shock horror, you got me back again. Uh, and I shot some cool pictures of like the Christmas, uh, the, t the 2020 Christmas campaign they did, which was really nice actually. There's quite like cute looking photos, like proper memory, memory photos. That was the, the, the brief, like make it look like memory, like it's happy times and stuff, I don't know, stuff like that. I think I did a good job there. They came out really, really, really nice. And then we've got Colourful Friday actually as well. Well, that was a bit of a mess. If you look in this picture, uh, the nice and clean white fleeces and then the next photo, they're absolutely covered in like, in powdered paint, because that was like his, his, uh, his concept. And instead of doing Black Friday, they do Colourful Friday, um, which is like a, obviously like a fun concept. Some cool, cool pickies there. Then I've got some like birthday pictures when it was Remedy's birthday. Some nice little memories there. Oh, I just love them. And then moving forward with more client based work, I do videography, photography for the nightlife and music events. And it's sick taking Polaroids of like all the headliners and the DJs that play for these events. So we've got, you know, the likes of Hannah Wants, Tom Shorters. Tom Shorters? I don't know how you say his name. Sorry, mate. Gene on Earth, The Queen, Lauren Lo Sung, and Cassine. They're the ones I've got so far. Actually, tell a lie. I very recently uh, just did PAX. He was at WAV in Liverpool. That was fun. And also world-renowned DJ Metric. Metric and Louis Milne. Um, I need to go get that signed, actually. It's a good job I know them. Um, more so Metric. Louis, I might have to just bring that along just in case I see him again. But Metric, George, if you're watching, I need to come yours. I need to get, I need to get signed. And actually going through them all, that's that's the lot. Actually, at the very beginning of the at the very beginning of this video, I took a photo of myself. Um, and so that's that one as well. Um, 
yeah. Going through them like that doesn't feel like there's that many, actually, even though there's quite a few. Obviously, they're all in sets, so one set might have more than the other, but yeah, going through them like that it doesn't feel like there's that many. I feel like I need more. I need more. The only downside is that film, Polaroid film, is expensive, man. It's like £16 for eight, so... It's a good job. I'm starting to get paid for taking Polaroid photos as well because doing it as a hobby is It's hard man But yeah, that's that Polaroid isn't the only analog photography I take I do in fact take 35 millimeter film I've got an abundance of, of film cameras as well. I've got the Yashka T proof uh, the Olympus MJU zoom 105 this is my family camera actually um, so this took lots of uh, old family memories. So I don't know if you want to see a 35mm film video in the future Let me know in the comments below uh, Leave a like subscribe. Thank you for watching